He's gonna turn into Tobey Maguire this game. <laughs> oh, he's gonna, gonna like, like he's gonna push a piece forward and it'll t- <laughs> tilt <match> up. <laughs> it'll tilt up and it's yeah, Tobey Maguire's face. But it's still a little boy hand when you see the the piece push, then it tilts up and it's Tobey Maguire's face. Well, yeah, a little boy hand because it's then just Tobey Maguire's hand holding the piece. <laughs> <laughs> and then he immediately screams, no, this was today. today. Oh, uh, you know what? I think it's going to be, we're going to like focus in on like a pawn. And then Toby's arms are going to smash out of it. Then he's going to like rip the top of the pawn off. And he's going to step out on the chessboard. <laughs> <laughs> Something else. <laughs> Watch that happen. Hi, I'm Liam. And I'm Constantine. And I'm Peyton. We're watching Pawn Sacrifice uh, with, with Toby. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to click on this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is going on? Oh my right? god, his chest senses are like I tingling like crazy. <laughs> that was a super villain, right? Did you have, did you see how fast he was tapping that pencil? How good do you think Toby is at chess? Probably dog shit. I probably beat him. <laughs> <laughs> all he does is pawn sacrifices. That's all he learned. Have you guys seen Toby McGuire beat Jimmy Kimmel at Connect Four? Check does it out. Does he beat him? <laughs> he does. And Jimmy Kimmel doesn't know us at first. Toby's playing it all coy. <laughs> He's a coy guy. <laughs> If I had to pick one word. Two guys at a board, one makes a move, the other makes a move, and that's it. I guess I know how to play chess now. I mean, that's the fundamentals, really. <laughs> the fundamentals are how the pieces move. I don't know if I would say the fundamentals of chess is like, you take the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you didn't know that you take turns, you wouldn't be very good at chess. Probably yeah, not. Because you would You're just, just be going, going all the time. <laughs> I would say that is, that's like the most fundamental you can get. That's Two the most fundamental part a of like a game. One <laughs> makes a move, the other makes a move, that's it. That's the fundamentals of chess. Is that Corey Stoll? Who is Corey Stoll? Stole. Yellow jacket? That is, I swear to God, that's Corey Stoll. No, that's, uh... That's the bad guy in Ant-Man. Dude, no, it's not. Yes. That's the lead singer of Coldplay. Nah, it's Peter Sarsgaard. I was close, though. You see, the Russians are like boa constrictors. So he's really good at chess because he hates Russian people. It's just a displacement of his own hatred for his own mother. All right, Dr. Phil. Um, we going to California? Tobey Maguire is such a good actor. Why? Wait, why does this priest play chess? Uh, he played with uh, Bobby as a kid. I bet he did play with Bobby as a kid. <laughs> he is a priest. <laughs> well, wait, hey, the priest played with they them as both, a kid when? when? they were both younger. He played uh, Bobby and Spassky and beat them both. That was like the whole first part of the conversation. Oh. I love the music choice here. <laughs> it's honestly pretty bad. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I enjoy something. Fun police. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me rock out real quick. <laughs> and I'll sit here with my arms crossed. So what did these two chuckle fucks have to do with anything? They're his uh, his buddies. Why is he an entourage? That's just how chess people were back then. They were rock stars? Pretty much. <laughs> back then, chess was a big deal. Yeah, look at these groupies. A priest and a guy that's dressed up like a detective. Well, w- look at this groupie. Oh, is that Leslie Bibb? Maybe. He's like making sure his mom doesn't come, but she's not going to come anyway, and that's going to make him sad. Yeah. That's why it's raining, because this is a sad scene. As he's talking on the phone on the other line, he just hears... (laughs) (laughs) Green Goblin swoops in, kidnaps her. Is that really his wife? No. You think Bobby Fischer would marry this hoochie? (laughs) No, he had like he he did have a wife. It was some like Asian lady, I think, for the last. Like, it was it was Mark Zuckerberg's wife. He he got married in like two thousand four and then died in two thousand eight. Maybe she killed him. <laughs> we would like to publicly <laughs> accuse Bobby Fischer's wife of murdering him. I'm just saying it's suspicious as all. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> This movie sucks. Yeah, it's not very good. I'm enjoying it's, it. I'm digging it. it. It's like really badly paced. Yeah. And we can't, we can barely understand what's going on. I've been trying to. We don't even know who the fuck Michael Stuhlbarg is. He's a detective. He's not a He's detective. trying to crack this case. <laughs> <laughs> That's the femme fatale. She's going to kill him? Yeah. We already, we already publicly accused the wife of killing him. <laughs> oh, wait, it's not that hoochie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say this was Leslie Bibb, or is that how you said it was? Yeah, it's not, though. It's just some random lady. Kind of looks like her. Leslie Bibb would be bringing much more charisma to this role. I'm talking to you! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm coming for you! Oh my god. Yeah, he's not I'm a good actor. Holy shit. I'm coming for you! <laughs> Bobby Fisher's What Happens When You Don't Have With Great Power Comes Great Responsibility speech. Exactly. Bully McGuire was heading down this road. Use your spidey sense for chess and evil. Evil chess. <laughs> <laughs> if Toby didn't get rid of the black suit, the Bully Maguire would have turned into Bobby Fischer. This is a sequel to Spider-Man 3. It's like an- This is a reimagining <laughs> it's a re- of Spider-Man 3. It's a reimagining of Spider-Man 3. <laughs> they call it THE Spider-Man 3. Hello. Bobby, is that you? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. bit by the spider. Why does it keep getting randomly scary and unsettling? <laughs> <laughs> James Wan came in and did some reshoots. <laughs> when test audience was like, I like it, but why isn't it a horror movie? <laughs> they tested it to one person named Liam Conley. <laughs> What's scarier than chess? Checkers. A horror chess movie? I think I just sold a pitch to Jason Blum. He's gonna get Jeff Wadlow to make it. Once you get checkmated, you die in real life. That's, a, <laughs> that's the tagline. <laughs> you guys want to go make a couple million dollars real fast? <laughs> oh, did he move to Iceland because that's where he won the world championship? Uh, no, it's because he felt like a Viking there, ready to conquer. <laughs> there was some, like... <laughs> he, he like, travel. He, like, got arrested in Japan and was held there for a bit because the USA revoked his passport and then some weird Icelandic law allowed him to live in the country until he died. Well, if you if you win any sort of competition in Iceland, you could just live there. <laughs> I think that is, I think that's, that's the that's rule. That's how you get citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> you want citizenship in Iceland? You have to win a competition. It can be any Anything. competition. You just have to win something. Iceland doesn't want any losers there. Oh my god, one of the guys in this room is a villain. <laughs> it's Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> Throws a goblin bomb at him. It's a pumpkin bomb. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> pumpkin bomb. That's what they're called. Why aren't they called goblin bombs? Because they look like pumpkins? Because they're pumpkins. <laughs> goblin bombs. That's not that funny. <laughs> that's, not, <laughs> that's not ridiculous. <laughs> He's called the fucking Green Goblin. This is a horribly communicated audience. Like, if you don't know what chess is, you have no idea what's going on right they now. They speak only in, like, weird, outdated chess notation. <laughs> yeah, that's, they've spoken this entire movie in outdated chess notation. D5, Carmine! <laughs> 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 well, they were saying like rook to rook four, and it's like, what the fuck is that? Listen, I don't think you're going to see the pawn sacrifice movie if you don't know chess. Yeah, but like Queen's Gambit did such a good job of like visually showing off the chess games. Well, yeah, that one's for idiots. This is for the educated man. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come like the beginning of the movie. Remember when he come back? He shook. He forfeited. Oh, it was just the first game. I forgot they're gonna play twenty four of these. Yeah, twenty four. <laughs> they're not even halfway done. When does Kiefer Sutherland come in this bad boy? He's the priest. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Are these not play on the same day? I don't think so. Thing takes like 24 days to go down. A chess game is, takes like a long time. <laughs> it's timed. You can't take that long. They like the the most recent world chess world champion match was like eight hours. What the fuck? But with all 24 games, it was one match. It has the fucking timers. It can't be that. Well, they they have like adjournments stuff that they can do, and they get time back. It's crazy. I don't I don't fully understand how it works, but it's you can get like they are long matches. I don't know if I'm buying this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was all 24. I mean, matches. I watched I watched a bit of the the most recent recent one and it was like I watched it for like two hours it was one match yeah you've barely even got to see them play chess in this oh slow-mo oh frame. my god <laughs> take out those frames <laughs> <laughs> oh my god he's pawn sacrificing <laughs> holy shit he's threatening maiden one you know what that means queen <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Queen. Threatening maiden one. Is that what you said? Yeah, maiden one. My Pretty self explanatory. <laughs> My guess is that would be the queen. What's maiden? That just means you can check maiden him in one move. Oh, mate, mate. Mate him. I was hearing maiden. Yeah, they start using little cute nicknames <laughs> for chess terminology. She's the maiden. <laughs> I'm glad they're not showing the actual board. This is so exciting, just watching two yeah. dudes sit here. I love not <laughs> being able like, to. What? Yeah, love not being able to see the actual position. And Toby's just fucking squinting at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How riveting. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was so invested in that. I don't really want to get to see any more of the games. The movie's going to end with a little text epilogue. Half? What? That's what a draw is. So uh, come well, on. Just give Common sense, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but like, I almost feel like there's, you might as well not give them points. No. Is he also crazy? He's Russian. <laughs> he's pretending like he's crazy because he's kind of like jealous of Bobby Fischer. I want to be crazy too. <laughs> Dude, look at those pieces. Look at that old tick he's doing with his hand. This is why that game took eight hours. They're just both <laughs> <laughs> their <chair Yeah>. for... <laughs> Like we have no idea what their current position is. Yeah, I, 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 I've been trying to look at the board and see, but they never show it for more than two seconds. <laughs> I'd rather look at Liev Schreiber. Yeah, I'm just like, whoa, it must have been something crazy. <laughs> so looks like it's all in his head. He's just pretending. That is what it's going to be. Like this is a Joker moment for him. He's actually lying naked, like, writhing on the floor of the game on live television. Why does he have to be naked?
naked. <laughs> I just decided that it'd be fun to your picture of you was <laughs> naked. I don't even know when the pawn sacrifice was supposed to happen in this. <laughs> I don't think it did. <laughs> I, I don't think it has yet. I think we're building to that, oh my God. that climactic moment. So badly. They might not even show us since they just don't want to ever show the board. It's had three climaxes now. I've climaxed three times <laughs> since we started watching. Yeah, especially when he was writhing naked on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> we figured out if that's Corey Stoll or not. <laughs> it's not. You fucked it up. He really looks like Kiefer Sutherland in this shot. It kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't messing with me. <laughs> there's usually one right move. Of course, in the end, there's no place to go. Oh, this is kind of metaphorical for his life. It's going to be a metaphorical pawn sacrifice. Because he trades Michael Stolbark's life for <laughs> a bunch of poker chips. I take the money. Let that grab! It's like he's reacting and I what is that position? Could have been something really interesting. Oh, that's a funny reaction shot. That guy's super emotionally invested. Is that the final game? No. He, oh my yeah. god. That was just like such a dramatic stand up and clap yeah. thing. But I thought it was the <laughs> final game. They're still oh, they, they, this is like a, they said it's a pivotal match in the series, but it seems like it's over. It's his family. He's seeing his family in the crowd. People he's neglected for the chess game. Everything he sacrificed up to this he oh, it's is over. the joke. So it was just a, like a random beginning game. Oh, it's just considered one of the greatest chess games ever. Yeah, it would have been awesome to see the board and the moves <laughs> rather than their stupid reactions. Hey. This movie sucks. Chess is awesome and this is lame. <laughs> All right, guys, comment down below what your favorite chess move was or is. <laughs> that'll, get, that'll get the yeah. engagement. <laughs> All right, bye. All right, bye. See ya. Oh, 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 oh.